Welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. This is episode 10, and this is brought to you by CodeKarate.com. Today we are going over a very simple Drupal concept. We're just going to be adding a contact form to our site. And in this episode, we're going to use the Drupal Core Contact Module. And we'll start off by going to the Modules page. And you'll notice that in the Core group of modules, there's a module called Contact. And let's go ahead and scroll down and we'll click on Save. And immediately, right out of the box, that's all you need to do to get to a contact page. You'll notice that we now have a contact page where you can put in your name, email address, subject, and message, and it will send a message to the whatever you have as a site email for your Drupal site. If you go into Structure, we can change some of these settings. There's a contact form uh, administration page here. And there's a few things you'll notice here. There's a link right there to your contact form. It says that there's a menu item that you can turn on if you want. And you, it also says if you'd like to add additional content to the contact page, you can do so as a block, which we'll go over that here in a second. But we'll go ahead and add another category, and we'll call this general info you can put who you would like to receive this so just make up an email for now if you want to have an auto reply so it will uh, send the user an auto reply message you can say thanks for contacting me and you can select if you want this one to be selected by default so now that you have two if you go back to your contact page, there's a category listing here. And this will allow you to select what type of category this contact will be in when the user goes to submit the contact form, and it will send it to whatever email address is set in that contact form. So you'll notice here, this is the actual site, site address or site email for the Drupal 7 site, but you can always come in and change it. So we can change that, hit save, and now we have two different email addresses, so you could have uh, support questions go to a support team and product related questions go to a sales team, and you could route things that way. So let's go back to our contact form. It's very simple. We're just going to add a little bit of text up here. So go into structure, blocks, and we're going to add a new block. We'll, we'll call the title Contact Us, and we'll say Contact Form Text. And I just added some tags in there so you can see that you can use HTML to format this. So you could add images, you could uh, do, do whatever you need to to make the, the contact page look better. And we only want to show this on the contact page. And the reason we want to do this is because we obviously don't want this block showing up on other pages. We'll leave everything else the same and hit save block and then we will go ahead and find this block it's, which should be down here and disabled and we can drag it up to we can put it in the featured section we'll say of our theme we save that and go back to the contact page and you'll see now we have this contact us text in the featured section we can always move that of course to the main content section save it and now it's going to show up here so there's a couple things you can do to increase uh, the design or en enhance the design of your contact page one thing you'll notice is it's obviously limited on the fields that you can use and you're kind of stuck with what it gives you there's a couple ways you can change that you can either create a custom module and add some fields using the form API which might be suggest or I might suggest if you're working on a very large site 
that is using multiple environments and version control. But if you just need a simple contact form for a simple site, then you may need to look into the web form module, and that's what we're going to go over next time. So until next time, this is the Daily Dose of Drupal. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3 and subscribe to my codekarate.com newsletter. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.